Well, we know one person's trash is another person's treasure, and now <laughs> there's a name for it. It's called stooping. So Julia headed out on a stooping road trip like only she can. Let's see what she found. All right, you may know that I am a huge thrifter, but what you might not know is I'm also a huge stooper. Do you know what stooping is? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. It is a huge community of people, pretty much worldwide, that love a treasure hunt, want to save money, and also save the planet at the same time, all with the help of social media. So, this was just posted online. Let's go see if we can get it. Come stooping with me. Posted in less than an hour, it was gone. Now, not every stoop is a win, but you know what? There's more out there, and we're gonna go get it now. Part of stooping also is being a stooping ally. Like, maybe you're gonna come across stuff. This is awesome, but I actually don't need this. So, I'm gonna take a picture of this and send it out to the stooping community. Happy stooping, my friends. These are, okay, these are good, but you know, a photo doesn't say everything. These look a little rougher than I thought they were in the photo, but they're still here. Oh, I could do something with that. I want these to come out. All right, I'm taking this one. I'm leaving this one for another stupor. See you later, separate you guys. I separate, I'm taking this one. <laughs> All right, the number one tip when stooping is bring a friend. It makes it so much more fun, safe, because they can follow the maps, and make sure your friend is strong. <laughs> hey, Sage. Hi. Are you ready for a day of stooping? I'm ready to go. All right. Just posted 20 minutes away. Let's go get them. Oh, my gosh. Yes, they're still here. This is my stooping day. This is my luck, I'm telling you. Oh my God, I love these. I love these. All right, we got ourselves a mirror, a basket, and the other basket. I have the best idea of what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna DIY them. You're just gonna have to wait till I'm finished, okay? You'll see it soon. Oh my God, this is so great. Thanks, Sage. Okay, loading up. This is a good day. This is a good stooping day. <laughs> okay, so you basically brought every single thing you wanted curbside over uh, on this little road trip. So you did very well. Yes. We've been stooping yes. forever. Yes. This is sort of like the gentrification of garbage picking. Yeah. I'm sorry to put it that way, but we've been doing it because <laughs> when the kids are done with certain things, we put it on the curb, yeah, we turn around, we look, it's gone. Exactly. And That's my it. husband brings, he's brought home dog leashes, he's brought home so many things. So how has social media sort of moved this along? Okay, so what it has done is like the, exactly what I like to say. It's sort of like an elevated, organized, sophisticated garbage picking. Yes. Right? Because yes. basically, what it is is there's different accounts on social media so different city cities will have stooping accounts okay Say that five times fast <laughs> but you've got sort of you know uh, stooping Toronto yeah. Scarborough stooping stooping yeah. Halifax stooping Vancouver most famous of all is stooping NYC the which city. has yeah exactly has over 500,000 followers on it Whoa. and basically these accounts are run anonymously people aren't trying to get famous from this mm -hmm. they're basically realizing that there's a culture of people that would like to help out yeah. and then there's other people that follow the accounts like me mm -hmm. and you're running around the city loving a treasure hunt and you're getting it so what stooping has done is sort of connect the buyer with mm -hmm. the seller with no money and then the underlying thing that drives it all is sustainability that's yes. where the sophistication comes from. I this is not it. a dirty, in the dark alley, 
tea with, you know, this is like, <laughs> let's get this out of landfill. Somebody else needs it. Let's be proud of this. Yes, let's exactly. Let's be proud of this. Exactly. We're sharing and we're borrowing. Yes. So every, you've got sort of different stooping personalities, don't you? Right. Okay, so this is why I would say there's three different types of personalities yeah. that's involved in the stooping culture. Okay. Now, you could have all three personalities. Oh, yeah. You could have two, but every single person here has at least one. Okay. Okay? <laughs> so we're going to start with the stupor. Yeah. So the stupor is me. This yes. is the person that loves the thrill, is out there, really wants to, you know, find something old, make it new. So that's the stupor. Okay. Okay, now we have the stooping ally. Okay, who's that? That's a little bit more like you, Trice. Okay, what would okay, that so, be? Okay, so, you know, maybe not running around looking at broken chairs across the city. I gotcha. <laughs> but you know what? You have an appreciation that people will. Yes. So you walk by, you snap those photos, you send them to your, you know, local city mm -hmm. stooping account, and you start the wheel going. Okay, I like okay. that. What's and the then the last one where we all are is the stupor facilitator. Yeah. Okay, everybody has put something out on their front stoop. Yes. You have. Yes. I know you have. Don't have lie. you done it? Everybody, You've done it, right? right? Yeah. Lots okay, of heads so nodding. now we're going to do it a little differently. We're putting okay. it out there with love. You're going to put it, you're going to give it a little dust. You're going to leave a note. You're going to, you know, leave, you know, what, like take the legs off. Yeah. You know yeah, that yeah. this is going into the stooping community. Okay, nice. So maybe be a little bit more respectful for the, yes, the stuff that you're, you're taking out. Yes, because you're part of that. You're making it happen. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yes. So let's take a look at what you stooped. Yeah. So first up, I got to say like, stoop. Um, first up, you got these baskets. Yes. Okay. So remember what they looked like when you found them. There they are. Yes. They were already pretty good. You made them so good. Well, you know what it they is? They look phenomenal. If I had this basket here, and yeah. I had this originally. I bought it new. I bought it a long time ago, and I've been obsessed with it. Yeah. So I wanted to add more to it. So I've been on the hunt for baskets forever. I'm not going to buy new ones. I've already yeah. got one new one. I can find these. So when I saw these on Stooping Scarborough, I was yeah. like, oh my God, let's go. So really easy. All I did was add black paint to the bottom half. So that nice. was it. So a little, you know, painter's tape to make sure the line is straight. Uh -huh. And then all you want to know when you are painting wicker, you may use a little more paint than you think. So it's like kind of oh, dab right. it in. But yes. it was so simple, so easy. And now I've got a set of three of them to, you know, around the fireplace, plants, whatever yeah. I want to do with it. Beautiful. Right? Multiples also help a lot. Right. Okay, next up, let's take a look at that chair that you got. I was thinking about the chair. Okay, take a look at the chair. She found it on the side. She's like, I can do this. I'm Julia Grieve. I know. I am a little, this is my, my thing. I said, I'm a little obsessed, obsessed with solid wood furniture. Okay. Like, whenever I see it, I just take it. Yes. Always. And my husband's like, and what are we doing with this leg? I'm like, don't worry. It's solid wood. I'll we'll figure something out. It's because valuable. they don't make solid wood stuff anymore, you know? Right. So this was a great chair, but I thought, you know what? Let's turn it into a cute little bedside table. So oh, I painted nice. it. Just That was it, really. Painted it and then style it perfectly. It's the right height for the little yeah. cot in my daughter's room. So it's perfect. Oh, you did so well with that perfect. one. Perfect. Okay, last up, and this one drove our director I know. crazy. I know. We don't like having mirrors on set because it's hard to shoot around them, but... You, but you found a good one. How could I say no? You found no. a good one. So she I had to bring it a in. Mirror. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I just wanted a, a mirror for my daughter so she could have it in her bedroom. Really, uh -huh. really fun. Again, this is solid wood. I wasn't going to leave that on the street corner. Right. So, and then I just ordered these like stick ons. So it's got that sort of disco ball, really yeah. fun. So it's taking sort of something really old, giving it that modern taste. And then that's it. No need to purchase a brand new mirror right. just because someone needs to do their lip gloss. That's right. right. No, 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 no. Very nice. I love this. And I know that you are going to send some of the stuff that didn't already go with your daughter to university. <laughs> what, a, what a big time for I a lot know. of kids that have I just know. gone off. I know. It gives me excuses to keep going back and seeing her. I know. It's like Mimi, your mom's here with a mirror. <laughs> She's like, really? It's like, yes, open up. Very nice. You did a great job. And thank, thank you, you for getting us to sort of think a little bit differently when it comes to saving money. There's no shame. This is what. There's no shame this in this. This is it, Tracy. Honestly, it is such pride. Yeah. And this is what I want people to feel. And that is what the new stooping is. Absolutely. Excited. You grab it and go 